fifth graders, today you guys are going to be doing the vinegar test. You're going to be testing each of the six substance, substances to see what happens when vinegar is added to them. You guys, are you ready to get started? Ready. No, we're not ready. We need to put our safety goggles down. Oh, thanks for reminding us, Mrs. Rosenbaum. And don't forget to put your name on your recording sheets. Oh, in case we drop them. Which substance do you want to test first, Mrs. Rosenbaum? Hmm, I think we should start with the salt, the substance with the white dot. Do you guys have a prediction of what might happen when we, when we put vinegar and salt? Hmm. Kids, do you have a prediction of what might happen when the vinegar is added to the salt? I'm going to take the salt and I'm going to fill the souffle cup with the salt over the tray carefully. Good thinking. Let's share responsibilities. All right, Mrs. Bowers, would you like to pour the salt into the plastic cup? Oh, over the tray. Thank you. Awesome. Now what? Okay, now this is time when you're going to test the vinegar against each substance. We've used the dropper before to test the, in the water test. So you're going to do the same procedure, full, fill up the dropper, and do about two to three drops of vinegar over the plastic cup. <gasps> hmm. Looks like the salt is absorbing the vinegar. Interesting. Absorbing? What does absorbing mean? It mm. means when it's collect gathering and soaking, it, soaking up. it up. I don't see any color changes. Mm -hmm. Do you see any color changes? No. no. Maybe. Mm. No. Looks a little more grayish, but yeah, not Yeah, darker, really. more transparent or opaque. Can we pick up the cup or... Yeah. And see if it's changed in oh, it's not any like other ways? It's having a hard time moving around. Mm. It looks like it's thickening. It does. The middle is getting is thick and sticking to the bottom. Now that we've made our observations, it's time to record. Next to salt. I don't see many changes. Yeah, I agree. All I noticed is that it just got wet and clumpy, which but which would was similar to what happened with the water. Mm -hmm. So there was really no reaction or a change in the properties of the substance. I like how you said no reaction. Do you mind if I write that down? Sure. And to the properties? No visible change to the properties. And so group, for the next five substances, we're going to be following the next, the same procedure that we did for the salt. Maybe we could rotate around so everybody gets a chance to fill and everybody gets a chance to use the dropper. Um, like before we finish, do you mind if we ask the students if any of them had correct predictions? Sure. Were your predictions correct? reactions happen when two substances are combined together and they exchange elements to produce a new chemical makeup. With the baking soda, we added the vinegar and we saw a reaction of bubbles. The bubbles are the carbon dioxide being released into the air. We can't get the carbon dioxide back again 
So it's created a new chemical substance. Carbon dioxide is one of them, and the baking soda and vinegar is the other. Another example is if you bake a cake and you add all of those ingredients together and put it in the oven, okay, that reaction, you can never get your original substances back again. They created a new chemical makeup. According to our book, scientists call a substance an indicator if it, in the, if it shows in an observable way that another particular substance is present or absent. So in this particular experiment, experiment, vinegar was an indicator for baking soda because when it hit the baking soda, it fizzed. 